guys, so it is my third anniversary as an author. Can you believe it? That's like, that's gone really quick. Like, you would not believe it. Like, oh my God. So, I have done a lot in my time as an author and like even though my mum and dad aren't here I feel like they are like in me you know I, I know that sounds weird but um I have gone on to publish a lot more books as well as this one um i have had this book illustrated and i am going to have crystal woods which is book two after this one published from april um and it's going really well like my job as an author is going really well like i would not be here without any of you and I just wanted to say a big thank you, really. Uh, I know I say it all the time, and you're probably fed up with it, but I am really thankful for all of you and grateful for what you have done since. I've known every one of you, like, especially my school friend. Like, you would not believe how many times I tried to give up on this. Like, it was just for me it was just me writing stories as a hobby like and um now i'm published like you see a girl with a dream in a hospital bed i know i bet that, that bit is sad but um i could not have done it without any of you and now I'm sharing my dream with Eden and he is one of the best people I know and he is the love of my life, he's amazing and so are you guys. Um, so yeah, I am really thankful for everything that you've done and I'm just going to read a message from my first ever book. This was, this is three years old published now. But it's like, I wrote it when, in 2018. Um, so I'm going to read this message to you guys. A message from Emma Lucy's Stories. This book is dedicated to someone very special to me. And the reason for this book is to keep his memory alive. I would also like to thank my family and friends who encouraged me to put a book on Kindle. This is a dream that I have dreamt of since the age of 13 and I have chosen this book because this story I made up with my dad. This story is made up and based on a teddy called Zoe who is by far my favourite teddy anyway. This story we made up together and we decided the country was going to be Japan and abandoned and the abandoned car that Zoe ends up is a Toyota car, like my mum's car. And it just went from there really. The story is still going because my family knows the story by heart. They do a volcano with Zoe like Japan have. That's why I am... Um, putting it out there for children all ages because no matter what age you are you should always believe what you believe not whatever people believe what others want you to believe in even that even if it means you believe that your teddies can talk so yeah um you know when i i will tell you the story of um the day this got published so i was in my room i was having a bad pain, pain day so i was in my wheelchair and my mum came in with this exact book 
because she bought it in secret and she came over to me and said this is your book my darling i am so proud of you and i know your dad would be too and we just ended up in tears both of us really And now I'm starting to cry because it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. I made up this story with my dad and he's not here. But I do it because I love to do it. But it's heartbreaking at the same time. And, um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to say really is that I'm thankful for everything that you have done and now that I'm sharing the dream with Eden and hopefully still keeping his mem my dad's memory alive um so yeah I just wanted to say that I am really, really, really grateful. And when I had 400 sales last year, I actually wanted to cry. I did. I really, really did. I actually wanted to cry. I didn't actually think I would get that many, like, to have zero to 400 is amazing, and it's just, like, really special, I think the word is special, um, So, I have got my book illustrated. Um, it's not on Amazon yet. The Kindle is, though. The Kindle is. Um, and then I'm going to get um, Crystal Woods illustrated from April. I've got so many good ideas for what books I want illustrated. I mean, I have books everywhere. And Teddy's everywhere. It's great. <laughs> Whatever corner you look at in my house, you either see a Teddy or a book. It's great. <laughs> so, um, this book... I'm going to show you this book here I um published it in let me think um twenty twenty two I think yeah twenty twenty two without check in um and it's basically um raising awareness for toxic relationships and it's and i'm saying i'm trying to say that it's okay to leave like no one should actually put up with that like and um the tropes for this book are pregnancy, marriage, affair, one-sided, enemies to lovers, second chance, and the triggers are physical assault, emotional abuse, um, violence and physical abuse. Um, 
and this book really um was easy for me to write because um yeah anyway i'm gonna stop this video because we're gonna be here until christmas and that's not even a joke i'm i'm like i'm being serious like i'm gonna stop now and i'm gonna stop this video and i'm just gonna say um a big you know a big thank you to everyone that has supported me these last three, three years and next month is my writing book anniversary i would say writing book anniversary is that a thing you know i don't know anyway um it's 14 years next month can you believe it that's that's gone quick like that's gone quick i'm not even joking and um the ideas keep coming like like really they keep coming um writing block doesn't like exist with me <laughs> that's the truth <laughs> i love writing so much but i do give myself breaks now um and i'm gonna stop this video because it's 11 minutes long nearly 12 and like i said we're gonna be here until christmas or maybe next christmas um knowing me but um yeah i'm gonna go and thank you for everything and thank you for all the support and encouragement that you have given me guys you have no idea what it means to me and aiden thank you for everything that you have done as well and thank you for sharing my dream with me and supporting me and everything else and i love you guys